Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commentate game two here. I know I wasn't around for game one. I'm so sorry. I think Caleb Cujo might change to his signature Bayo. Looks like he's resolute to stick in the core and take him into FD. I wait a second. Caleb Cujo definitely hates FD, so I guess I guess, I guess he's feeling something about this stage with Corin that he doesn't feel with Bayo. Maybe it's just the pin pressure in general. I don't know. Go for the up smash. I don't think that was intentional. I think he wanted up air. Pins gets punished for it. I think he was expecting a uh, boob to be enough hits done for him, you know, not to be able to shield first. Boob just kind of has a pretty good read on what Caleb Cujo wants and where he wants to go right now, which is making it difficult for Caleb Cujo to do much of anything. Especially with these pins, usually pins so oppressive in matches like these against characters that don't exactly excel on range, but Boogaloo just knows what range to stay at. Making it very hard to, to play this as Caleb Kujo. Back air, pressure is shielded to down tilt. Pretty even game, all things considered. Boogaloo's been mostly winning it in the neutral, but Korn's punish game is superb. Attacks on a lot of damage really fast. Both of them playing just a bit reserved here. Counter. Not sure if it was intentional or not. Thought he was going to come in with that air a little bit earlier. Ah, uh, gets, gets Roy zones. Oh, tipper up smash. That was wonderful timing by Caleb Cujo to know that he could get that. Tipper up smash again. Yeah, that time he missed. That's uh, that's what I would have expected to happen the first time. That's why uh, I, I I commend Caleb Cujo for his timing on that first up smash. That was that was well played. Nice pin into up tilt. That's a it's a nice zero percent combo. It doesn't really work beyond that, unfortunately. Yep, gonna get pinned for that. I guess the gets the fair off that pin. It does trade because they can act at about the same time. The Caleb Cujo, back in the day, that was the thing that he was known for, was doing a Dragon Hydro Shot in the wrong direction. Back when his tag was still KJ. Yeah, tipper pin. Caleb always hits that. Interesting back air. Uh, throw, but he's gonna live. Not looking good for Boog right about now. Gets hit by a weak hit a pin. I don't think he has a jump. Does not. That's a solid two stock from Caleb Cujo. Looks like he did indeed know something I didn't by taking Boogaloo to Omega Wileys. Going to game three, Boogaloo and Caleb Cujo. Boogaloo's counter pick. Not sure where Boogaloo wants to go. I'm gonna assume he doesn't really care for Battlefield in this particular situation. Think about Cloud, maybe? Oh, he was indeed thinking about Cloud, maybe. I feel like. Caleb Cujo might be more comfortable with this matchup than against his Roy, frankly. 
I think Boogaloo's Roar is a lot scarier than his Cloud. And I'm not just saying that because I've never dropped a game in Tournament 2 as well. Okay, okay. So, Boogaloo's starting off with a decent heft of damage. If there's one thing Boogaloo excels at, it's definitely these early combos. He puts, a, he puts a lot of pressure on you, and he makes you scared of what he can do. And before you have time to adapt, he is overwhelming you and putting on some early percent. The thing is, though, is that he sort of struggles in the late game, uh, kind of commits super hard for his kills. As well as, in general, just not playing the safest, as safe as he could. Uh, so yeah, Caleb Kujo sitting at 98%, but the trouble here, especially him burning limit on that blade beam as he did, is definitely going to be how does Boogaloo find this kill? And with Climb Hazard such a potent weakness that Cloud has, I imagine we're going to see quite a bit of Caleb Kujo just trying to get him off stage precisely like this and pin his recovery. Uh, almost as limit back. I imagine he's yeah, going to camp quite a bit. Forward kick, not quite gonna kill. Ooh, I thought that would kill. Back throw to get him off stage. Gets uh, gets the nice perfect climb hazard right to the ledge. Back air, gonna give him limit though. Might have to expend it. Oh, gets tippered for his troubles though. Caleb Kujo up a stock. Boogaloo, see how he retaliates. Once again, I said Boogaloo's trouble is more often than not finding the kill after he's racked up his damage with his pretty nuts combo game. Uh, I feel like a lot of people that I see fight Boog, usually Boog is able to score the kill on them from them overextending and just kind of giving it to Boog for free. More often than not, that is. Uh, Caleb Cujo, wonderful at not doing that, though. You see that? Like, he he throws out that back air in a distance where he knows that he's mostly safe. Oh, Rare SD from Caleb Cujo, though. Don't see that very often. Got the 32% extra credit, though, but again, Boog excels at these early percent combos. Especially with Cloud, who can just keep pouring in the air like the business. I thought that was going to be a finishing touch and a handshake. And Caleb Kujo has yet to do damage to Boog this stock. Commentator's curse. Yeah, it doesn't overextend. Almost gets up there. Caleb Kujo is smart about where he's going. It's back here at Boog, almost his limit. Oh, interesting. Takes one. Oh my god, maybe a pixel away from getting up smashed there. Right, gets up tilted near the ledge. Gets down aired out of it. Oh, if he had pinned, that might have been game. Oh, Christ. Good DI, but Korn's up air is intimidatingly powerful. Just blows it immediately. Perhaps not the smartest thing. He might live to regret that decision. Gets the back kick. Both these characters now at kill percent, especially Korn with rage. Pin. Doesn't quite get the two frame, didn't space himself quite well enough. Forward kick, I think that's gonna kill. It does indeed. Skin of his teeth, Caleb Cujo pulls it out, 2-1 over Boogaloo. Reels back in his seat, relieved beyond reason to have pulled out that victory. Going into loser semis, I believe, against Anthony. Good shit, Caleb Cujo. Good shit, Boogaloo. Boogaloo out at 5th place, good job.